I'm telling you, it's one thing after the other today. Pretty sure it's not supposed to make that sound. I feel bad for him. It's been a hard day. Never ending. Well, it's go day, y'all. It's bean day. I mean, that's the that's the plan. It's also Sunday, and I'm gonna have to miss church. And I hate that, but it happens. We got to get all these cows fed. We're working on not enough daylight, <laughs> and who knows what's gonna need to be done to the head. So. Here we go. Whoops. Come on, girls. Come on, babies. All done and all did. All right, next. We've already done a day's work, Bonnie. What about you? All right, I'm heading to the barn. I just scarfed down some leftover roast and rice. Standing up at the kitchen sink while washing dishes. Feel a little, feel a little full. Um, anyway, that's neither here nor there. Heading to the barn. We need to get this head on the gleaner changed out. Here's hoping that it's not problematic in itself. And then I don't know what has to be done to it. The new head. Not new head. The bean head. Hold on. Boop. Cattle guard. Um, so we'll see. We'll see what it needs doing to. Done to. I, I can't talk today. I can't even think today. I don't know. I'm feeling a little stressed today. If I'm going to be real honest with y'all. Sometimes all the things just kind of like pile up. I've got deadlines this week. I've got people waiting on things from me that I promised that I haven't gotten done. And then I've got those things that I put on myself that I might not speak out loud, but things that I want to get done that I can't seem to get done. And some days we just have to take it minute by minute and get done what we can get done and that's all we can do. Just hope people understand. <laughs> and maybe give ourselves, definitely give ourselves some grace too. All right, that's my pep talk. Let's go do this thing. Alright, so he's put he's put it here on a little bank. Um I can't remember exactly why. It has something to do with being able to put it on there. Being able to put it on there because the tires were it was too high, I think. I don't know y'all, but this is what we're doing. Okay? I don't always know why. I'm just here. I'm just here to help any way I can. In this house right here, my husband spent his first um, eight, nine years in there. And then his parents built that house. I will um, have to give you more of that story later. Let him share some of the farm story. One of these days when we get somewhat called up. All right. I know, Gus. Puppies are happy to be here. All right, so we're bringing it in. Take the corn head off in here. 
and go see what we can do about getting the other one on. We just moved these here, put that on. Okay, we got that. I couldn't record it and be the eyes and the ears and everything. Anyway, that's off. Now, if we can get the next one on. <laughs> hey, girl. Hey, baby. Mm. Oh, Gus, Gus rolled in a nice fresh pile. Mm. Buy a combine, they said. It'll be fun, they said. Do what? Buy a combine, they said. It'll be fun, they said. Yeah. One thing in your favor, the wind. Let me take a chain off. Hey, Bonnie. Bonnie said, Bonnie said, you're on the ground. She tried to come up and kiss me. Back to the truck to get bigger channel lock pliers. And an oil can. We need oil, y'all. All the oil. The gleaner needs all the oil. Mm. Okay, going back to the truck. <laughs> back to the toolbox. Hoping I can find this wrench socket thing went right to it y'all long nine sixteenths no no yeah that's that's nine sixteenths but it's not long what constitutes as long does anyone know? Um, well, I guess we'll just hope that this is long. Well, I'm definitely getting my exercise today. I, I brought the hammer and pliers back, but guess what? They're needed again. Losing track of um, how many trips this make. I'm getting my steps in. I mean, if I ever actually tried to get steps in, I don't. I just do. <laughs> Back again. Extension 16. Got it. We got it off. Our neighbor, Felipe, is helping. Oh, y'all, everything is just 
hard. It's just hard. <laughs> Nothing wants to work just right. Got it. That was not easy nor fun. But, got it. Hard to get it connected. Woo! Let's see if she turns. <laughs> was a chain that wasn't on correctly. He did something wrong, but he fixed it. So let's see. The no it was making a really bad noise. So hopefully it's not going to be making that noise. That's better. Back up in the shape. All right, changing the pulley from the slow to fast. Well, here we go, y'all, in the heavy Chevy. We're heading to the field. What we thought was going to hopefully only take a couple hours took about six, <laughs> which is normal. He's behind me. We have less than a half an hour of daylight, but we're going anyway. We're going. We're going to see, see what we can do. You ever feel that, you ever have those days where if something can go wrong, it's going to go wrong? And if something can, everything does. That's basically where we're at. We can't get, um, can't get to the field. There's some hunters that lease this land that we have to drive through. It's not ours to get to the field. <laughs> the trucks are parked in the way. So we're waiting on, waiting on them to come move the vehicle. Racing daylight. Always racing daylight. Yep. Sun is just about gone. Oh, looky there. It's gonna be a full moon tonight though. <laughs> we have that. Here she comes. He won't want me showing this patch. We're just gonna leave that for the wildlife, I believe. <sighs>
go through the heat. It's been a hard day. You just want stuff to work for once, maybe. He shut it down. That's definitely not a good sign. I'm walking back to the truck. Pretty sure that mud stopped it up. Now I gotta find a way to get in there and get it unstopped. And it worries me. I don't know how safe that's going to be for him. <laughs> so, I try to keep it real here. The good, the bad, the ugly, <laughs> the really amazing days and the really not so amazing days. So. Yeah, because we all have them, right? Yeah, we do. <laughs> Whether you're farming or not farming, we all have them. <sighs> We're all in this together. This too shall work itself out. Eventually. <laughs> Come heck or high water, these beans are gonna get picked. I'm just saying, they're gonna get picked or cut or whatever you wanna call it. They're gonna get harvested. That was the dirt. Okay, he's gonna turn it on. We're gonna see if some stuff comes out. You can't see, but I can see. All right. Good night, Gertie. We're going to see you in the morning. <laughs> and 
hope for a better day. Hope for a better day. I just have to give a little shout out to my girl, Bonnie. Everyone needs a dog like Bonnie. <laughs> my girl came and got her and took her home when we went to the field, but my truck was still at the barn. I don't know. It's like a half a mile from here. Well, when we got back to the barn to get my truck, Bonnie was there waiting on me. She went back looking for me and waiting on me. She's my good, sweet girl, aren't you? Yep. Everybody needs a Bonnie.